What is going on, y'all? The NCZ3 here, and I'm so glad you stopped by. That's right, you malakis. No but you to spend some of your quality time to hang out with me today because we are going to be talking about Guildfest and the decisions that I am making right now for my choices because I know a lot of you guys are always pitted up against these kinds of choices on a regular basis, right? This or that. This or that. They both look really good. They both look similar. But which one's actually better? So here we go, fam. I am going to... This is a 1 billion percent trap account, okay? I have zero desire. In fact, I, what I'm going to be doing is destroying every last one of my buildings, okay? I do not need the might. I'm going to be destroying all of my buildings. 1 billion percent, all right? So let's get into Guildfest, okay? Because might... Having a really low base might, but having really good research is where you want to be for a trap account because it allows for more troops, all right? So I'm going to go with my pickaxe because I don't care about the army boost. You already have a billion of these. I don't need still cuffs because, bro, I'm not building any sort of T4s, okay? I am not trying to build a prison or anything, right? Past a certain amount, all right? So crystal, uh, the crystal pickaxe is where I'm going to go. Now, here's the controversy thing, right? The maggot chest is good. So are the gems, but I'm actually going to go with the guild quest scrolls because of two reasons, okay? If I get one attack jewel, meaning if I get one infantry attack, one cavalry attack, or one ranged attack jewel, it is absolutely worth way more than those 300 gems could ever be. Because jewels are what run this game, okay? You can have a maximum of like 540% attack to like one troop with just jewels alone they it's literally by far the best items in the game right now relics are great heroes are even better but jewels are what's run, what runs the show okay i know bren chong has something like 900 percent plus to one troop attack which is cavalry i know he's got it okay and so that's what makes him such a powerful player right he, that's why he can burn a 200 million might player because he has so much stinking attack that he just beats you out downright but in this situation right here i'm gonna go with gems because i don't care for the speed ups those come like candy four speed ups or one infantry attack jewel i will take the infantry attack jewel okay fam I, a million percent i will same thing goes for this the quick the guilds the quest scroll admins I don't care if I get a jade orb to gold, bro. The chances of that happening are next to zero, okay? I'm going to go with also the special materials, by the way. The special materials that you use to build your relics, your free-to-play relics, whether they're lunar flutes, sentinel circlets, or anything of the sort, bros. This is the best way to obtain them in the fastest and cheapest and easiest way, okay? Just like that, okay? I'm also going to go with six guild quest scrolls right here. I know I could go with eight because eight's better than six, but this also gives guild coins too, okay? Which I use for other things, right? Probably pretty much building more chests. Now, 1,200 gems or 3, 000, or 30,000 energy. I'm going to go with the gems on this one because I've never really had good luck on the energies whenever I pick them. So I'm going to go with the 1,200 gems on this one. On this note, I will go with the energy on this one actually... Yeah, I'm going to go with the energy on this one because the speed up, six, nine hours of speed ups is very negligible, okay? Very negligible, but 30,000 energy is going to net me a ton of player EXP, hero EXP, and items versus, or for, uh, items to build relics, right? Versus the nine hour speed ups, okay? Um, let me see here. Um, I'm going to go with the, oh, come on, bro. Right? So I'm going to go with the 15 hour speed ups, the times two, because... 30 hours is worth more than 30,000 of that, at least in my opinion, okay? Now, here's the tricky part. Do you get two infantries or two ranged? Well, I'm lower on ranged attack jewels. And by the way, guys, only, only, only put blue, blue attack gems. Attack gems, that means infantry attack, ranged attack, and cavalry attack. Only use those three blue attack jewels in your gear because you will have to take out other pieces to upgrade so you're spending more gems or more resources just to obtain the same thing so then at that point when you get three blue gems right three 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 more blue gems of ranged attack or something you take out one ranged attack jewel now you've got a purple one in your gear now you gotta wait again right that's how you do it so in this note bro i'm taking the jewel chest because i would rather take my luck on this one oh this is a no-brainer for me okay 
This is really good. 20% attack is really good. I would pick that on my main account, but I'm not going to, right? Same thing for the gather boost is really good. I'd probably pick that on my main account, but I'm going to go with the material chest because, bros, I am absolutely still building my relics. So 11, 11 up to purple grades are better than I can think of. Here's here's the kick in the dinker, right? The dinker, that's what I'm going to call it, right? You can either get a Helldrider chest piece, right, for 10. You can get 10 of these or 17 scrolls. I am going to go with 17 scrolls because there is no reason why I should try to chance getting the, mu the mutated brains. Because first off, bro, you are really lucky if you get an ultra rare, even just a common grade ultra rare in 10 chests. I've opened up enough chests in this game to know that you're really lucky, all right? I have 14 relocators, and I'm actually going to pick the relocators because, realistically, you can never have too many relocators, all right? The research speed-ups right here, those are stupid valuable as well, but I can wait a whole day, but this is 3,000 gems I don't want to spend, or, you know, 270k guild coins per relocator I don't want to spend. This one's a no-brainer to me. I'm going to go with the material chest as well on this one. Uh, I will pick the the jewels as well. Now, this is the crazy part about this, right? I can either chance getting the Frostwing stuff, which I just don't want at all, or I can get the training boost, because I don't want the War Tombs. I'm kind of leaning towards the training boost, because eventually, I will be spending a lot of gems to train troops. But I know there's a 20%er out there, so it's kind of I'm kind of torn about this, guys. Let me know in the comments what you think I should have done. Which one you, would you guys have picked? Because uh, obviously everybody has their own opinion, and I like 20 heads are way better than zero. Just throwing it out there, guys. And I'm calling myself zero heads because I just I'm on autopilot, bros. I'd like okay, this is good, this is good. I'm, I'm I try to think about it logically, okay? So the training boost is going to be better in my opinion over 13 chests. Uh, bro, 23 quest scrolls are going to be better a every day of the week. For me, 23 guild scrolls are going to be better than any either of these two, okay? They're just going to be better. I need materials and I need jewels, and this is a really good way to get them for free. In this matter right here, two days worth of speed-ups, that is, I believe, 2,000 gems. You can have 3,600 gems. Or you can have 4,500 gems. I'm still going to go with the relocators, guys. Relocators are by far one of the commodities you seriously cannot do with that. I cannot use them right away. But, guys, I'm telling you, when you guys play around in the game and you want to move around, it takes a lot of relocators, okay? Anybody here, anybody viewing the video can tell you that really high mites and or active players who are trying to attack each other and stuff like that, they go through relocators like candy. Most of the time, your guild coins get used up by relocators or, um, let me think about this, right? Relocators or talent resets, right? Those are the two main things everybody uses their guild coins for, for the most part. Even though, even though they should be using them on the, uh, rare material, rare material, uh, the rare jewel chest, right? Block, I can't even talk, right? Even though you should be using your guild coins on these bad boys, you use them on everything else, right? So I'm going to go with the relocators on this one. This one's kind of rough. This is four days worth of research speedups or 37 admin quest scrolls. And I'm going to go with the admin quest scrolls, bros. On my main, I would go with the army size 50%, but still. This right here, the reason I'm going to go with these quest scrolls is because 37 chances to get just one, just one attack jewel. And I've got like 370 chances because there's 10 per, right? It's worth it to me, in my opinion. I would rather go with the guild quest, the, the admin and the guild quest scrolls because first off, I'm not level 60 on my trap account. I'm not level 60. I'm still leveling. So I would much rather go with this, to be honest with you guys. I just would. I would rather have this than anything else, okay? So this is me. This is my decision. If you guys thought I chose horribly wrong after I explained why I did what I did, please let me know in the comments because I will absolutely take that into consideration and know for next time, okay? Let me know why you guys would have taken the other things, okay? Like, let me know why you guys would have done this, okay? And so a lot of guys will say, hey, I would have taken the, um, I would have taken the energy over the gems, 
but I would not rather do that. 30,000 energy is not equal. I mean, maybe if you're hunting, if you're hunting level four monsters, you could do that. But I'm a trap account. I don't want high research other than military, okay? Because every, every point of might counts. I want to have 640k troops, whether they're T1, T2, or T3, I want 640,000 troops, and I want to be as low of might as possible, so that when people attack me, they get trapped. That's where I want to be, okay? That's where I want to be as a trap account. I do not want, I do not want to have anything higher than what I need for might, okay? I just don't. All right, fam, but this is my decision on this one, guys. Let me know in the comments if you guys would have picked differently and why. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit this collect button. Boom! And then there we go. All of my rewards are dispersed. I would like to thank you guys for tuning in and stopping by to spend some of your quality time to hang out with me today, bros. And by the way, here's my research, by the way, right here. I keep saying, by the way, I'm eights across the board, right? This is going up to nines, right? This will take... With my current gear, 22 days, it'll be less, okay? But it's still, nonetheless, it's going to take a long time to get those done. And once those nines are done, I can actually kind of start to trap, kind of start to trap. Not really, though, but kind of, sort of. But anyways, though, guys, you all know what I'm talking about, though. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Be safe. Thanks for stopping by and spending some of your quality time to hang out with me today. And, uh, yeah. Stay classy.